Hey y'all, it's your girl Just Bree coming at you with another video. Feel free to hit the like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Woo child. Let's get into this foolishness, okay? The chick from Kendra G's show, which I heard about in the comment section. Shout out to um actually one of my subscribers. And I subscribed to her as well. Uh, what's her name? I want to shout her out anyway. What's her name again? Oh, oh, child. Oh, Smart Cookie. Yes, honey. Shout out to Smart Cookie. Go check her channel out. Like, share, subscribe. Her um stuff as well. She's the one that said right here. Girl, the girl did a reaction video to Kendra humiliating her. She has a channel, Quayla Ann. Okay, so this is my honest, raw reaction, y'all, to this girl video responded to her Kendra G video. The chick that caused her baby, that went viral for calling her baby ugly, who looks just like her. That baby looked just like her. Okay, if you're not, you think I'm joking, y'all can go and do y'all digging and find that video on your own because your girl don't work like that, honey. I try not to work hard. I work smart, okay? All right, fair use. Um, Don't come over here striking no channels, child. It's called fair use. It's a reaction. I'm starting and stopping. This is not, um, um, uh, whatever they call it, formative content or whatever, honey. All right, so let's get into it. To this channel, make sure y'all comment below where y'all from, where y'all watching from, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Today, I want to talk about the Kendra G Live show that I was on the other day, the single show. I'm not really sure if y'all familiar with that show, but I did put the link below down in the description box. Go check it out, and then y'all can come back and watch this. Before I get started, um, before I get started, what, what was I going to say? I, I done lost my train of thought. Um, make sure y'all shop on my website and follow me on Instagram. Yeah, boom, boom. Here's my Instagram. I am underscore Quella Diane. I'm not really sure if it's going to pop up on the screen. If it don't pop up on the screen, it's I A M underscore. Q U A Y L A dot A N. All right, let's begin. So, first and foremost, I want to say thank you, Kendra, for allowing me to be on your show for the two minutes that I did have. And second, I want to say thank you all uh, of my supporters and the encouraging words that y'all gave me. I really appreciate y'all. I have so many messages. I have not been able to respond to them, but I will get to them as soon as I can. As y'all know, I'm a busy woman. I'll be working. Oh, let's get into this um, title. Quayla Ann's response to Kendra G's live single show humiliation. Okay. I'll be working. And if you order from me, y'all tracking numbers will be going out tomorrow. Anyways, boom, let's get let's get it going. Let me tell y'all how I feel about the situation. I really came on a show like serious. I probably didn't look serious because I was nervous. And I literally did my hair, did my little little makeup and stuff because I'm thinking I'm gonna find a man just to get cut off. She what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Not her saying she because she thought she was going to find a man with a goddamn baby in her belly. Bitch, you just had a man, what, six months ago? You look like you about six months. You just had a man. He's getting all up in you six months ago. You ain't even birthed this man child. And you raggedy bum bitch on here with your eight children talking about, I'm, I, cause I, I'm finna look for a man. So you want to bring a girl? You was girl. talking over me for one, and asking me the same questions multiple times. Like, 
Come on now, I got seven kids. I really do have seven children. And not all the time do I remember their ages. I still said their ages wrong. I literally have an eight-year-old, a nine-year-old, 11-year-old, two three-year-olds, a one-year-old. Oh, I got it right. Did I miss somebody? And a five-year-old, Logan. <laughs> I'm always missing Logan. That's not good. But Bitch. <laughs> But yes, I have seven children. I really am looking for that one person, that one kingdom spouse, and somebody that's going to take me serious. Like, I know I play a lot, but I'm really about my business. Like, I take my business serious. I got my own house, my own car. Like, I don't need a man, but here we go. Here we go. Here we go. She don't need a man, but what? You got your own car, your own business. First of all, bitch. First of all. Okay, let's not talk about how... Lord only knows how well you know the men that you got kids by. So now you want to come on a platform and attempt to try to make you know, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, everybody's strangers until, you know, whatever. But how dangerous could you be to have that many children, particularly so young that you are willing to risk bringing a man into the into your situation. And I say that because for one thing, a, a woman with all these kids like the strong mommy Chrissy, another strong mommy Chrissy child. I mean, I would be questioning his t intentions. I mean, just period. Because the only thing you, a man, the only th reason a man going to deal with you with all them kids is because of shelter and food. Okay? And the potential that your, 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 uh, 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 <coughs> one of your girls coming of age. Okay? And no, I'm not saying that's every man. God knows. That's not what I'm trying to say. But the way these women are so, you know, wrapped up in their men, a lot of women just don't believe their child. And I'm not saying that's her. I'm not saying she would be that way. But you got a lot going on, sis. That even, God forbid, if something was to happen, I mean... How would you really even know? Now, listen, I grew up in the era of Oprah, Donahue, um, Sally, Jesse, all of them, okay? So, particularly, I could thank Oprah for this because she woke us up to a lot of shit, right? And she used to have, her shows used to be super, very informative. I don't care how you feel about her. I'm not a big fan of hers today. But in particular, back then, she brought a lot of shit to the light that, you know, that people would rather sweep up under the rug. In particular, things like child abuse, okay? Whether it's sexual or whatever. And you really have to pay attention and know your child, okay? Because some of the signs are, you know, um, of abuse is withdrawal. Okay, they withdrawn, they quiet, they not themselves anymore. If they were more outgoing, you know, and just in general, if you're not catching those signs and you're not paying attention because you got 50, 11 children, you're not going to catch it right away. Oh, yeah. I want one to help build, you know, to help add. To help build? 
not to help you with not to help you not not to help with them kids, huh? Okay. So what he gonna be building, sis? Cause he gonna be looking at you going to work while he's sitting around playing video games nine times out of ten. Okay, so what I have going on is not gonna subtract, you know? And I really got on the show thinking that I was gonna, you know. Get united with somebody, but instead, I got humiliated in front of thousands of people. And Thank God, and you deserve it. Okay, if you and and she was not humiliated. Okay, Kendra just could not. First of all, like she said, she was not being serious. She she um came across as not serious. First of all. So you were not humiliated. Kendra could not take you seriously because you was laughing, giggling, acting stupid. Okay? And I'm not saying that you should be taking yourself all serious in the first damn place. And then the whole kid thing, yeah. It, it was a lot. It was a lot. And no, it wasn't humiliation. Okay? She just took it that way because Kendra was not in the mood to play games. That's it and that's all. You know? If you are serious about it, which you should be, you know, why are you acting like a fucking teenager? For you to say that I was trolling or trying to get clout, dude, I've been having clout. I, I, that's gonna come with me regardless. Like you just felt like I wanted clout because I already got a blue check mark or whatever. I don't know what the case is. My thing is. You got to really loosen up on your attitude because you was very rude. Rude. But anyways, if you watching and you my man, inbox me because I'm for real. Girl, and she got a lot of support in here, child. <laughs> Baby girl says smoke detectors in every room going off. Blatch said, so you couldn't build with any of those seven kids' daddies. Maybe you need to focus on your kids instead of looking for a man. Britton Billing said, I have no child, chill, child at all, by the way, but I'm tired of people saying they need to focus on their kids, like she don't deserve love. Bitch. Her kids should have a male figure in her. Oh, my God. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's now she said that her kids should have a male figure in their life. Oh God. How about the men that she laid down with need to be a father to their children? Or else she needs to stop fucking having kids if she can't pick a baby father. Because obviously she don't believe in marriage. Blush 2 says, <laughs> Blush 210 says, y'all really underestimate the quality of men out here. I have one child but dated and couldn't build with more than seven men since my divorce. Stop judging women. Sasha says she's about to pop out number eight. Not with the daddy. Focus on you and them. I just can't believe. I, I can't. I just can't believe all the support. I, 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 I can't. Like, I can't. Corinne Perry says, girl, you have seven children. That's trifling. What? Go raise your kids until they're adults and leave home. Um, uh, yeah, no. So, let's take a, a quick look back, cause since I don't have editing skills just yet. Ah, oh, shit, come on, I don't want to go. Um, let's just take a quick look back at damn video in the first damn place. How about that? Because it wasn't long at all. Here it go.
and that baby looked just like her. Not she pregnant. I consider the matter urgent. That of your succession. The Iron Throne, the most dangerous seat in the realm. Dragons. Our power mansion. What happened? So listen, I don't got time for games. Are you here for the show or are you here to okay. play games? Wait, let's start for the What's your name? Quayla Ann. Now you told me to add you in the comments. How, how do you say Get you out. Now? Get out. Who's that? I'm trying to find, find your stepdaddy. Who was that, your child? That's my baby. How old is your son? <laughs> no, that's my little girl. She's eight. Oh, I, have, I have eight children. I well, seven. How, how old are you? I'm 26. You really have seven I, children? I'm, I might just need a sugar daddy. So listen, I don't got time for games. Are you here? Now see how she playing? Kendra just was not in the mood. And I mean, she takes her show as as child, as silly as it is. Sometimes she she takes it pretty seriously. Here for the show, or are you here to okay. play games? Because I hang up on you. I'm I'm for real though. So but so, so, so I, I want to just make sure. I for real though, but do be playing. Are we? So you really have seven children? Yes, I have seven. Okay. So what's your name, honey? I'm Quayla. Quayla, where you calling me from? You said what? Where you calling me from? I'm calling from Texas. Texas? What part? Dallas. Dallas. And how old are you? I'm 26. 26. How old are your kids? I have an eight-year-old, a seven-year-old, two three-year-olds, a one-year-old, so and an eleven-year-old. Your, your, your three-year-olds are triplets? Yes. No, they're twins. You say you have three three-year-olds. I have two three-year-olds. Okay, so start from the top again. Okay, I have the eleven-year-old, two three-year-olds, a seven-year-old, a eight-year-old, um, a one-year-old, and that's only six. I'm missing somebody. Oh, and a five-year-old, Logan. Somebody said she. Um, now listen. <laughs> listen, we are human, and as much shit as they gave Kevin Samuels for being an asshole at times, you know what I'm saying? Kendra, you know she sometimes she's just not in the fucking mood, and you know, I mean, yeah, you could call it rude or whatever, but um. You know, at the end of the day, she just wasn't in the mood. So maybe she, you, you know, I just don't think she, 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 she felt like the girl was playing and she just wasn't in the mood to play. So she hung up on her. So what? Was that humiliation? No. Was Kendra being rude? Possibly you could surmise that maybe yeah sure whatever but um so yeah i just thought i'd um react to that uh video miss quayla and child the name funny child all right let's get into the comment section tell me what you think um like share subscribe go check out quayla and too child see what she talking about with all my children over there. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what can you say? It, 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 with the Kevin Samuel, what you say? You can't make this shit up, right? You need to write it on the t-shirt, y'all. Somebody trademark it and come out with a shirt. Maybe you'll get the shirt out before she buys your right. I don't fucking know. <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I know I'm slurring because it's getting a little late and I'm getting a little sleepy, so.